Hi guys and um, welcome to another absolute beginner tutorial. Now I thought I'd do something a little bit different and do um, like a mini project because as much as it's good to practice your rows of all your different stitches sometimes it's nice to ha actually have a proper something at the end of it so that's why I thought I'd do a really really simple flower. Um, it's also good because it gives you a couple of little stitches and a couple of techniques all in one project as well. So you can use obviously any yarn and the recommended hook size for that yarn. I'm just using um, Karen Simply Soft. I think this shade was strawberry, I think, but I'll just double check that and then I will link it below. So to start with, you want to do your slip knot. Um, again, I do have one in the beginners section here, so if you need that, I will link it in the description. But I will just do it very quickly now here as well. So again, you're just going to put your tail end in front and hold, wrap your working end around and hold and then pull that back loop over the front and pull up. Again it's much slower in my beginner tutorial for your slip knot and chain so if you need that just nip and have a quick look. So to start with you want to do a chain of eight. So to chain you're going to wrap your yarn around and pull through the loop on your hook so that's one, wrap around and pull through, that's two, wrap over, pull through, that's three, four, five, six, seven and eight. So that is our chain of eight. We now want to turn this into a loop for us to work all of our remaining stitches into. So to do that you're going to take your hook and you're going to insert it into that very first chain just here in front of your slip knot. So just this very first one here and you're going to insert your hook through and then you're going to yarn over and we're going to do a slip stitch. So to do that you want to yarn over and pull through that first loop and then with that same loop on your hook you want to pull it all the way through that loop that was on your hook as well. So that now has created a nice large loop for us to work all of our petals stitches into. So to start the very first petal we are going to chain four so again, that's yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's two, three and four. We are now going to do double trebles. Now that's the UK term in the US, this is simply your treble. So to do a double treble, you want to yarn over and then yarn over again. So you've now got one, two, three loops on your hook. You're then going to insert right into the middle of the loop that you created and then yarn over and pull up and you should now have four loops. Oops. You should now have four loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through the first two loops so you've now got three loops left, yarn over, pull through the next two loops and then you've got two loops left and then yarn over and pull through. So it's a really tall stitch, a double treble. You're going to do that again now, so you're going to yarn over and yarn over again. Insert back into that centred loop and yarn over and pull up. So again we've got our four loops now. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the next two, yarn over, pull through the last two. So you've now got a chain four and two double trebles. So we're going to do that one more time. So you're going to yarn over and yarn over and back into that centre loop, yarn over and pull up, so you've got your four loops again, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, 
pull through the next two and yarn over, pull through the last two. So to finish off this very first petal you're now going to chain four again, so one, two, three and four and then you're going to slip stitch back into this center loop. So you're going to insert your hook straight in, yarn over and pull up and then pull straight through the loop that is on your hook. And that is your very first petal. So to start your next one we're going to chain four again three and four and then we're going to do our three double trebles again that's UK double treble in the US it is just called a treble so if you want to go really slowly like we did for the first petal then you can always just nip back and rewind and watch the really slow one but I am going to do them a little bit quicker in this one so you're going to yarn over twice insert back into that centre loop yarn over and pull up Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Oops. And yarn over, pull through the last two. And you're going to do that two more times. Pull through two. Oops, pull through two. And then one more double treble. So again, yarn over twice. Pull through two pull through two, pull through two. So that is our chain four, our three double trebles, so now we need to chain four again. Three and four. And again we're just going to slip stitch back into that centre circle. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through that loop that's on your hook. So that's your second petal. So we're going to chain four again. One, two, three and four and what you might want to do is just squish your petals around a little bit to create a little bit more space and like I say we're just going to do three more petals so if you want to rewind and like I say watch it again step by step nice and slowly then you can do that until you come towards the end of your fifth petal but oops doing a normal treble there that's no good so if you want to do that and then meet me back when you get towards the end of your fifth petal I will just show you how to finish up. So I'm just coming to the end of my fifth petal now. I've done my chain four, my three double trebles and my chain four at the end. And now again we are just going to slip stitch into that centre loop like we have for every other. So once you've done that slip stitch you're just going to chain one and then I'm going to snip off my yarn and then I'm just going to pull that out and I'm just going to pull on this tail end here but I'm going to pull slightly down towards the back of my work so and I'm just going to pull that tight. So that is the really really simple flower. Um, now this one obviously has quite a large hole in the middle but that's just the way I quite like to do them and then I crochet a very small circle and then I stitch that to the inside and then it almost makes like a daisy. Um, but if you wanted a smaller circle for your end project you obviously would just need to chain less than eight for your starting chain um, but I wouldn't go any less than six purely because you would really struggle to fit in all the chains and all the stitches that you need to do for your petals but anywhere from six up to eight is fine like I say this was eight but you can do um, two less if you wanted a smaller hole but that is it for this really 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 simple flower I really hope that you've been able to create it all you would need to do now is sew in your tail ends so you would just pop your needle on your tail end and I just work it just around this section here but I will do that now 
I'm just going to thread up my darning needle and then I'm just going to weave it around my center circle. I'm just going to go halfway around and then I'm going to pull that through and then around the other side as well. And then I'm just going to snip off those two ends because I worked in my other end as I went around. And that is it for your super quick super easy little crochet flower. Um, I will be doing a couple of other flowers as well um, but that's it for the beginner one. I really hope that you've liked it and if you have please remember to give me a quick thumbs up and to subscribe for all of my beginner tutorials and all of my other tutorials as well. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you very soon. Bye!